Hi everyone, it's Andrew. Welcome back to the channel. Um, I got my Touch New skin tones in today, as you can see, and I'm just going to swatch them. I'm going to have a little look at them, see what they're like. Um, so this is a 24-piece set. The 23 colours plus a colourless blender. So these have got this sort of like, sort of like rectangular barrel. Again, you've got your well, whatever the nib they call that bullet nib, and your your chisel. You can tell which end is which because you've got this on the the bullet. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna have a look. So um, I got these because I couldn't get the Arteza Everblend uh, color skin tones. They're not available at the moment. Um, and I don't know when they're going to become available again. So I've already listed them all in the book. Um, and they are they look really weird the num way their numbering system works. Um, because it's different to... You know, you get a load of light colours, and then a load of dark colours, and then another load of light colours. It's quite bizarre, but it's just where they are. So the first one is, a te is called Terracotta. So it's a nice brown, browny red. That's a nice colour. I'm just going to have a quick look at them. Uh, like Gold Touch, New Touch 5, similar markers. They clip on very, very well. Next one is 25 Salmon Pink. It's a nice colour. I don't know what these blend like because I've never used them before. Then we've got Pastel Peach. So with all of them, we've got a colour on the top. Um, that's supposed to be the colour that you get, but as you can see, yeah, it's not far off, but it's not identical. And a colour number, and that's very pale. Then we've got powder pink. So we'll just keep uh, moving this book up. That's a very nice colour. Salmon pink's quite nice. Fruit pink, which is number 28. Right, I'll move that up slightly. So you can see so that's what that one looks like. And they will dry slightly lighter, I would imagine. Most markers do. Next one is a barely beige. Now I'm kind of thinking, I'm just gonna move these. Away slightly, that I might put these in my Everblend marker case, which will free up the little box for something else. But I haven't decided yet. A barely beige. Now that's a lovely colour. And then cream. I always find the cream on these markers is very dark for cream. But that's not a bad cream. But I do, I always find them very bad. So far, Fruit Pink and Barely Beige are my favourites. Now we're getting on to the darker ones. So this one is Brick Brown. 94. It's a very nice brown, actually. And then the next one is 95 Burnt Sienna. Very dark brown, very nice though. Okay, and then we got rose beige. It's always nice to have some extra colours as well. And the next one is chestnut brown. Wow, that is a lovely dark colour. Our old favourite, Potato Brown. I'm still liking Barely Beige at the moment and Fruit Pink. Although Powder Pink uh, is quite nice too. Let's put that one. The next one is Sand, or it should be. Yep, yeah, 107, Sand. So I'm just going to push the book up again. There's only a few more now. Now they will, like I said, 
light and slightly lighter than they are. Next one is pearl white. Yeah, definitely pearl white. That's nice. And the next one is uh, something called Skin White. Now, I think this is the same colour that's in the Touch 5, which is the one I've used the most. So, of the Touch 5s, yeah, that's a nice colour. It's very, very pale skin colour. <coughs> and now back to the top. And the next one is Milky White. That always reminds me of the, that's the name of the cow in Into the Woods. A nice colour. Let's have a sip of Coke. Mm. And then baby skin pink. It should be a nice colour. Yeah, it's quite nice. And then raw silk. That's oh, very pale, isn't it? Imagine. You'd put that on as a base and then put something darker over it. Pale cherry pink. Oh, that's nice. That is a very nice colour. It's quite similar to Bailey Base, but slightly pinker. Let me up blush. Yeah, that's a nice one. Next one is called Flesh. I'll just push the book up for you. There's only a couple left. This isn't going to be a very long video. I just thought you might like to see what the colours were like in this um, set of markers in case you were thinking of buying it. That's quite a nice one as well. And then the next one is called Light Orange. And it is a light orange. It's a lovely orange. And then we've got Pale Cream. Oh, that's nice too. That's not very nice. That's more like it. That's what I call cream. So, that's what all the colours look like in the 24. So far, they're very nice. I really do like the pale cherry pink and I also like barely beige. So, why don't we grab a colouring book and just have a look at what it looks like if we spread it out. We will do, I think, barely beige to start on this one. Obviously I'll be using all the colours at some point just to try them. Now that baby skin pink looks a bit yellow to me at the moment. I don't know if you can see that, but to me that looks a bit yellow, but might be just the lighting in here. So I've got a book here, it's a Hamelin book. It's Sweet and Simple Whimsy Girls Mermaids and More to Colour, so it's this one. So this is what I haven't hauled yet, but I'm just going to colour in her face on this picture. And like I said, we're going to use Barely Beige to start with. Now I know I am not a very good blender, but I wanted to use that one and maybe the Blush and Flesh. So there's, there's blush. Okay, I'm just going to put these away. I'll just find the ones I want. Yeah, these are really nice colours. Yeah, that pale cream is quite nice as well. Let me get these pens from under the book. I'll just get a piece of paper to put under it. And those two. Put the rest of them back in their little container and we'll keep out the colourless blender as well. Like I said, I am not brilliant at blending these things. I just need a piece of A4 paper. Just see if I can get one. Was this? this one's probably A3, A5 rather. This is A4. Excellent. As you can tell, I'm not very prepared. I'm still watching episodes stop to home. So I'm just going to pop this down here. We'll just zoom out a little bit. There we go, so we can see her face. 
we'll start with barely beige and see how that looks on this um, paper in the book. So far it looks quite nice. Now obviously these pens can dry up really quickly, not the pens themselves but the on, on the picture so I always find it very hard to cover it quickly enough and then get a darker colour in so I tend to try and do it in sections like that and then get the say the flesh one I'll just put a little bit over the top here so it's a bit darker and then we'll get colour of splendour and we'll use the chisel tip for that blend that in and that, that actually does blend quite nicely not too bad, it has left a little white patch there which we'll just go over and when we get back to the barely beige it's just got a bit, because that's one thing it does it tends to as you can see it's left a little line so I'm not so keen on these blender pencils and prefer to use the marker itself but that's okay I think it's the light in here that's making it look a bit a bit yellow I don't think it's actually the uh, markers themselves so yeah so that blender pencils left a little yellow line here so I'm just gonna See if it'll blend out. No, it doesn't want to, not very well. We'll uh, keep trying anyway, see how we get on. Obviously I'm going to finish this picture this month. Um, it won't be on camera. This is just to, so we can have a look at how they lay down. And they're actually not too bad. It's very smooth going on, I will admit. It's not, it's not too bad at all. Yeah, I quite like these ones, they're looking quite good. Like I said, the blender pen, we did streak it a bit, so I probably won't use that. I'll probably just use the lighter colour over the top of the darker colour, like I sometimes do with um, pencils, if I can't find a blending pencil. But But yeah, it does lay down very well. Now I'm not using the the chisel tip because I found on if you watch the um, Gothic Fantasy one with the blue skin, using the blue chisel, it just left lots of streaks on it. So I need to practice using that. I'm doing a sort of a circular motion here to try and stop it from streaking too much. So, but yeah, that is a really nice colour. I'd have to say these are the first time I've used these particular pens. That's why I like grayscale because you don't really need to do a lot of blending. You just tend to put the colour you want on and of course the shading is there underneath. That's why I like grayscale for markers. I, can't, I, I don't mind doing the shading and the blending with the um, with pencils. I find that easier than with markers so so but this is so this is the barely beige anyway I'm not going to go and colour in lots of faces with different colours um, I thought I'd just show you I like I do like them they are covering nicely I, I mean I do need to practice a lot more with markers I know that I'm not very good with them I mean and on a picture like this it's such a big surface area to cover as well that it's very hard to make it look right so we're just going to come in and do a bit of bit of the pink blush over here so I'm not using two really dark colours because I'm trying just to make it you know 
And if you look at the colours Hannah Lynn uses, she uses really dark colours on them as well. I'm, I'm just trying to make them look a little bit kind of not so bad, not so dark. So I'm just going to go over this a little bit, blend it a little bit. Like I said, I could use the blending marker, but I'm not happy with the way it's it's streaked at the top. She's got a little wrinkle. She probably would anyway with me colouring because I'm not the best, like I said, with markers. But yeah, this is a nice colour. And it's only because I'm using the Everblend so much that I'm using up my three or four skin tones that are in there. There's not many that I thought I need to buy a skin tone set. So now if one of those runs out, I'm not so worried. Oh yeah, I quite like that. The blush isn't very, very pink over the top. It's quite nice. Just do this centre here as well. I mean, the flesh is a little bit darker. She's got a beard, or I've gone over the light beige and it's not dried yet. So, but I do like this colour. Light beige is very nice. Another layer over the top. See how that goes. Hopefully this will dry quite nicely. I don't know what it'll dry like. This is just a first first go, but I will use them um, along with the rest of my touch five markers, which I'm still using. I haven't I've still got them. Um, but I'll also use these with the other blends when I'm using them because I've, I've run out the skin tones on there unfortunately and until I can get theirs I needed something and these were in stock and considering the situation that's going on at the moment they were delivered fairly quickly so I'm quite pleased with that I've got books on order but I'm not worried about whether or not they arrive they should um, but they haven't got an, an estimated delivery date till the end of the month, so you'll have to wait and see if they come in time for a haul. I hope so. There we are. So as you can see, it's a bit patchy at the moment, but that's because that's me, not the markers, I think. Um, but I'm quite happy with the way that that is going on. They do seem to go on very very easily we will use the chisel now just to do a bit on on her arm just so we can see how that goes on that's going on quite nicely as well that's going on really evenly so she's actually got gloves on and I've just put it on her arms but that's okay I'm not worried about that it's just testing I always go over that so that was a bit silly, wasn't it? She's got gloves on and I've just coloured her gloves. Never mind, we'll do her neck. I'll find the colours to go over that. And then I, I actually do it properly. Yeah, the chisel is going... Oh, we're out of focus. Um, yeah, that's quite nice, actually. That's quite even on this one. 
So they seem to go quite even. So maybe on these big spaces I'll use the chisel and just when I'm doing smaller ones use the bullet because that doesn't seem to be as patchy as the top part at the moment. I'm not saying it's going to stay that way but there we go. Yes, there. Yeah, I quite like them. They do seem to go on quite well. I'm going to call it a day because this is 20 minutes already and my battery's running out. I will cover that up with a colour and colour that in a different colour when I, I finish this one. And I'll let you see it at the end of the month when I'm done with it. But yeah, I'm very pleased with these markers. The skin tones are really nice. They cost £21 from Amazon UK. If I remember, I'll pop a link down below for you. Um, and I'll try and do an American link as well if you're interested. I um, hope you've enjoyed this quick video showing you the Touch 5, sorry, Touch New 24 piece um, skin tone marker set. So we did the swatch and we've had quick colour. Um, I quite like them, I will use them. So if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and share it. Leave me a comment down below, let me know what you think of them. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And if you are, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. And I'll see you all soon with another colour and chat. And we'll be back to Gothic Fairies. Bye guys!